Oh, what what were they called again? The hands. Um. Ah, oh, damn it! It's been a while. I can tell episode one freaked me the hell out. I walk over to my back, still leaning against the wall, unbuckling the front flap, and retrieving the OPEC bag from within. I take the small plain box in my hands. Damn it! By Clonus. That's the name of the race. Ooh, I don't know how. Be right back! Mother fucking Beckness! I remember it now. Hold your hands out, Lily. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> hold your vectors out, Lily. She looks surprised for a moment, but eventually. Acquiesces. Probably. I'm amused by her look of curiosity when I place the music box into her open palms. Her, typi her typically delicate way of handling it, make making it, it making it seem as if it were fragile enough to break if breathed on. She wordlessly brings it in front of her face, her slender figure, fingers feeling out its contours contours and pattering. Really? Eventually her fingers find the recessed line between the lid and body of the box, and her firm effortly, effortlessly pops open the lid. Do 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 I'm worried if I might get copyright for that. Surely I won't, I better rush. I take a seat on the bar bed next to her watching her face silently and intently. She sits completely mo completely motionlessly, uh, motionless as she listens to the diminutive, probably, diminutive, tiny melody, her mouth just slightly open. There we are. The evil box is gone. It takes a long while before she closes the lid with a smile, with a small snap. Jesus, I'm blind. Bringing the curtain down on the miniature performance playing in her hands. The smile on her face, gentle and wistful, wistful, shows that I made the right decision. Think of it as a going away present from your, for your trip to Scotland. I will. Ah, the lovely Hanako's about to wake up. A restful shuffling can be heard from the floor in front of us, the sound having woken Hanako. Oh, a beautiful face. She climbs out of the blankets. I, she climbs out of the blankets I put over her, looking befuddled and wiping the sleep from her eyes. I see you're finally up. Hmm? What? Uh, Hanako, lo Hanako looks around the room with her eyes only half open, her mind far from being as awake as her body. Her dazed state makes me and Lily chuckle. As Lily gets off the bed and tends to Hanako, I take one last look around the room. I guess I better get going then. There'll be questions if I'm seen leaving the go- <laughs> What? Girls' dormitories in the morning. Goodbye, Sam. Oh, goodbye. I stand and walk to the door, picking up my somewhat lighter bag along the way. After I leave the room and enter the hallway, though, I hear Lily's footsteps behind me. Hmm? What's wrong? Without a word, she strides up to me. I freeze as I feel her hand slide onto my cheeks, seeming seemingly ev seemingly every nerve taken in the feeling of her fingers and palms upon it it what oh I thought that was sad music then or horror music considering what I just went through immediately after her face slowly moves next to mine a light momentary touch of her lips brushing against my other cheek for a moment everything seems to stand still I Absent mind 
my absent-mindedly bring my fingers to my cheek, as if to try and recapture that fleeting feeling. Lily, that's my thanks. Thank you, Hisab. Thank you for your present. Have a nice day in school. You manipulative. Oh. And with that, she disappears behind her door and gently closes it. The muffled voices of she and Hanako audible through it, mu through it much as they were yesterday night. Dot dot dot, blush face. I think I'd be hard pressed not to have a nice day after that. I walk away with a certain spring to my step. I think there were some people around that glanced at me emerging from the girls' dormitory building, but I find it difficult to care. Katawa? Oh, thank god. Last time I thought it crashed. It's how I got kissed on the cheek! Eat Chen. Oh god, you two! Go away. Eat Chen. Leave me alone. Come on, he chan Mmm, let me sleep. After two nights of not being able to sleep at all, the last thing I want is to be woken when I finally manage to. It may be the last period of class with a textbook as my pillow, but I'll take whatever sleep I can get by this point. See, he chan even she chan wants you to get up. I don't care what Chizune wants. Leave me alone. Jeezy Chan, I'll just have to wake. Wait. <laughs> Misha's going to. <laughs> you. This is bad. I'm up! I'm up! You don't have to. I can feel my face flowering into a scarlet red blush. Those drills! It's been a while since we've seen you, Misha. How are you doing? The students still in class are sitting bolt upright and staring at the shouting fool who was sleeping just moments before. Damn it! <laughs> I let my head smack back down onto the table with a noticeable thud. Wah! Misha's trademark uncontrolled laughter reverberates through the classroom. Oh, you two! Why didn't you? Why did you do it in that arc and not this arc? Dear God, ruined it! You did. I, I turn my mournful eyes to the bespectacled Shizune. Beside her, she carefully adjusts her glasses, desperately trying to maintain a look of serious disapproval. While well, you're failing, narrowing my eyes, I can see the badly hidden grins spreading across her face. Et to Shizune. What? Shizune looks away quickly as she crosses her arms tightly, barely on edge of her control. Wah! Misha's laughter doubles in volume as she glances at Shizune. All I can do is drag my hand down my face in resignation. You too. Who was the one who slept in class, Yi-chan? Yeah, yeah, it was me. Poor Shi-chan was having to fit trying to wake you up, weren't you? I move my eyes back to the st stando fish Azune, who with a single huff of confirmation returns to looking away with her arms crossed. Why was Shizune trying to wake me up? Chi Chan wanted to give you the handouts the substitute teacher gave out while He Chan was sleeping. Handouts. Oh my face. I suddenly find two two sheets of paper thrust down in the front of my face. Angry face. Following the hand holding them, I see the still pouting figure looking down at me with a distinct scowl. I guess I really am in the wrong here. Ah. Um, sorry about that. No dice. Her irritated face still hold, hold 
I clasp my hands. Clap, clasp, clasp. What? I clap my hands together and flick my head downwards in apology. Very, very sorry. She huffs and simply drops the paper on the desk. Damn. I look up over my hands to see Shizune and Misha and said she chan then signing frantically to each other a look of frustration on Shizune's face. Dot 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 exclamation point. It looks to be less of dialogue and more of a tirade. Okay. Punctuated with sidelong glances at me. Ooh, do apologize. I uh, yawned. To say it's unsettling is an understatement. Um, the two suddenly stop signing and look at me in uni union. I'm going to say union. Both having exactly the same look of disapproval. In one fluid motion, Misha's hand suddenly extends high above me and comes rocketing down. She's going to slap my head. Ow! Oh! Before I can even hope to react, my head is sent bouncing up and down like a jack-in-the-box. I quickly bring my hands to my head, more out of reflex than actual pain. Ow! What was that for? You rat! Oh, I open my eyes to see the two grinning at each other while exchanging an enthusiastic thumbs up. Shi chen says she forgives you now, He-chan. Could you forgive me with a little less force next time? I look at the two with a blank face. Mission Suzune won his sound nil. No, you pause then. Mission Suzune won his sound nil. There we are, I corrected my mistake. Dot dot dot. Oh, Shi Chan also says that you should check your student mail, but mail more often. Oh, I forgot about that. She produces a bright yellow envelope and hands it over with an something grin. Strange. Who could have written me a letter? Now is not the time, at most definitely not the place to find out, though. Butchered. Given up on, my, on the nap so cruelly stolen from me, I rub my forehead and slowly get up, putting the sheets and envelope in my bag before swinging it over my shoulder. <laughs> She's still laughing. I take a step back and move to depart with a small bow, while Misha clutches her sides, laughing. That's not the only thing she's clutching. Well, she's lifting something, laughing, and Shizune nods back in a curt farewell. Oh, people. I join the flow of students, exciting, exiting the open door and turn the corner into the hallway. Hanako, only to end up face to face with Hanako. Whoa, hey Hanako. Good afternoon, Hisao. Silence falls between us as busily, busily chatting students pass us by. She's fidgeting constantly, her eyes drawn to a rather unremarkable footwear. I take the bridge of my nose in my fingers while I blink my eyes heavily in an attempt to make things seem clearer. Clear. Clearer, yeah. I'm barely staying awake as it is. Hanako, you want to say something? What is it? Um, I wanted to give you this. Hmm? She holds out a small rectangular piece of paper. I blink again to make out the next through barely open eyes. The text through barely open eyes, slowly staring to make out what's written. Eggs two. What? A shopping list? Oh, right. I look upwards, raising an eyebrow. I usually go shopping with Lily, but I can't come, but I can't come, so... You want me to run the errands for you? <laughs> it's okay if you don't want to. I just thought that maybe, um, she's panicking, I sigh, yet another battle lost, though this time by a weekly fought surrender. 